All right, guys, welcome back to Miss Planet. I'm so glad you can join us. We are continuing our series on our Mother's Day gifts. And as you saw in a little preview, today we're gonna make this beautiful flower pot personalized with a picture of your little lovely child, grandchild, or, or godchild, whichever one it is, for this beautiful, inexpensive Mother's Day pot. So let's get started with what we need. You're going to need to get a terracotta pot. This one's a little bit bigger than the one that's actually in our project, but I just wanted to show you that either size will work. You're gonna to need to decide what color paint you would like to paint your flower pot. You're gonna need our lovely Mod Podge. And I always use a matte finish, but they have different finishes, whichever one you prefer is fine. Nice little sponge brush. I found these lovely rose appliques, paper flower appliques, in the dollar bin at Michael's. So inexpensive, but also so lovely at the same time. Then I just have some Pearl S trim, also a dollar, and some polka dot ribbon, also a dollar. Finally, what I did is I printed out some of my favorite pictures. And I always try to print mine on regular printer paper because it's just so much easier to apply it with the Mod Podge. So those are my supplies. I want you to go ahead and gather up your supplies and join me right back for this quick and easy, fun project. Guess what? Get the kids involved. Okay, I'll see you back in a minute. Okay. Well, let's get started with step one. The first thing you need to decide is what color paint that you want to paint, paint your flower pot. Whatever you prefer is fine. Um, I always just try to find accent pieces that kind of go with the paint color. So you're going to simply get your pot and I always stuff mine with some leftover paper, newspaper will work fine because you don't want to paint the entire inside of the pot. I just prefer to let the, whatever you're gonna plant in there have and more of an organic space to root in. So I go ahead and stuff my pots with paper and so that I only spray the rim of it and not the entire inside of the pot. So you're going to go ahead and spray your pot. I have one, ta-da, all ready to go here. So I've sprayed it, as you can see, and I put the paper in it. That way, when I pull the paper out, I still have a paintless area in where I'm actually planting my flowers in my flower pot. So go ahead and spray paint away and then come on back and join me for the next step. See you in a minute. Okay, let's move on to step number two. So depending on your size of your pot, you may be able to get two to three pictures on one pot. For example, you can pick a picture of your little lovely when they are a baby, and then you can do the other side of your little lovely at their current age. Cool, right? Another thing that you could do with this is you could actually use this pot as a centerpiece for maybe like a baby shower. You could actually put the ultrasound picture and Mod Podge it to it. Wouldn't that be an awesome, awesome thing? And then at the end of the shower, you could give those pots with the ultrasound picture onto the grandparents or godparents or future aunts and uncles. It's just really a cute way to, to, to memorize um, your special day. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and use my matte Mod Podge. Get it all open here. So I don't know about you, but I'm always looking for a cool and unique way to express, you know, my appreciation to people. And um, this is one of those ways that I do that. I always feel like a more personalized gift is always more appreciated than maybe something you would find at the store. And there's nothing wrong with store-bought gifts, nothing wrong at all. I just love the time and the effort and the uniqueness and how Things can be, oh, there's a little glue, it can be more of a one-of-the-kind gift. All right, so 
This can be a little messy, as you can see, but you're just going to take your time. And I always try to do the edges first because that kind of gets it to stick. And if you notice, I kind of have my pictures on a diagonal. I just like it to be, it's more interesting to me. It really is just up to you what you would prefer. If you like it more on a diagonal or if you want it straight across, there's really no rhyme or reason. It's just what you prefer. Um, I always put two coats. I'll let the first coat set up for a minute and um, clean off the edges with a damp rag once it kind of sets up for a minute. So I just continue all the way around. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and mod podge both my pictures, the baby picture on one side and the um, current age picture on the other side. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and do that. And when we come back, we'll go ahead and clean up the excess with a damp rag. I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Okay, so we're back. So as you can see, we went ahead, it's already drying, which is cool. We went ahead and cleaned up our first picture. So let's go to the other side and very carefully clean up our next picture. And all I have is a damp paper towel, real simple. And you just wipe, and if it seems like it sticks, you can just rub it off, no big deal. So we're just going to carefully clean up the edges being very careful of the other side. And I would definitely recommend that you let the other side dry so you can touch it. I wouldn't recommend you do it like me, uh, holding the inside of the pot. So you can let the other side dry and then apply your second picture. Depending again on how big your pot is, you can add as many or as few. So you just rubs right off. Pictures as you would like and really, really make it your own. Remember, we're just here to give you a plan and you take that plan and make it your own. All right, so finish cleaning up your glue and then we'll be back. Let the pictures dry for at least an hour before you start adding the embellishments. And I will see you in video time, which will be probably more like 10 seconds. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're back. So your pictures and your Mod Podge have um, adhered to your pot. And so now it's time to add the embellishment. This is where, guys, you can go in whatever direction you want to. Um, I found this really cute ribbon at the dollar store. <laughs> Love that dollar store. And all I'm doing is just measuring the circumference around the lip of my pot. And I'm going to just cut it and glue it. I mean, there's so many different options. Um, at one point I used buttons from like my kids' old baby clothes and I just kind of decorated it with buttons, you know, just things that really kind of meant something to me. Um, also, you could do things like you could use hair bows, you know, those baby hair bows that we have. I know I had, my girls had a lot of hair, so I just kind of stuck a hair bow in there and we kind of went with it. So those baby hair bows, you could line the lip of the pot with the baby hair bows. But anyway, whatever embellishment, oops, that you want to use, it's completely up to you. And all you're going to do is just take your hot glue gun and line it up and adhere it to the lip. So I'm going to have you go ahead and finish that and I'll continue with mine and we'll move on to the next step. See you in a minute. Okay, so we have added our, in this case, polka dot ribbon. Oh, and I want to show you something. When I get to the end, I always kind of fold it under so it has a nice um, smooth seam to it. So just a little tip on there. So the next thing, I just want to add another little layer, a little depth, and I found this little pearlesque uh, ribbon, and all I'm going to do is adhere it to the top of my polka dot ribbon. Now it's up to you. You can adhere it to the top, you can do it to the middle, you can even go to the bottom. A little bit more tricky, but you can do that also. I'm going to go ahead and do mine to the top. So let me show you how that is done. And it's done with just adding a little dot, like so. And then just kind of 
sitting it there for a minute. Don't worry if some of them fall off on the end because we will glue the end down. So I go about maybe an inch or so with the dot. Like so. And just lay it right on top, give it a second to dry and so on and so forth. So on this particular piece, again, it's really up to you. You could use so many different things to embellish. Um, just whatever you decide. I even did one where I did little crayons, which was really kind of cool, um, just to make it personalized because uh, my kids love to color. Just make it personal for yourself. So again, we just give you the plan and you take the plan and you make it your own. So have fun with it. This is all about trusting yourself. Oh, and guys, please upload your projects to our MissPlanet.com uh, DIY community. Join, it's so much fun. You can upload your projects, you can be a part of our news feed. It's just an awesome, awesome, awesome website where you can go on and go to our To Market tab and actually get a direct connection to the vendors where we um, purchase the supplies for our projects. So you have all the information that we have to make our projects. And you can also upload your pictures of ideas that you want us to plan. All right, so I'm going to finish this up. You finish yours up and I will be back in just a minute. All right, so now we're at the end of our project. So excited, it turned out to be such a little wonderful little piece. And I want to show you one of the wonderful things that I found in the dollar bin at Michael's. Look in those dollar bins, you would be shocked what you can find. So, let me go ahead and open it. And I just went with pink. Um, they had other colors in the dollar bin. They had, grab it they had also white so it just really is your preference but definitely guys check out those dollar bins they're like gold mine like a little treasure chest so I'm just gonna take one of my flowers and then it's just up to you where you would like to place it I kind of like to frame my picture so if you can see let me get this out of the way as you can see it kind of frames my picture and tops it off so uh, I'm gonna put it right about there so I'm just going to put some glue on the end of it. Another idea is you could take um, a little wood initial letter um, and paint it and top it off with a little letter. Um, or if you want to be more nostalgic, you could put, you know, do M-O-M and put mom right there or, you know, whatever works for you. These gifts are, yes, we're doing them for Mother's Day, but they can be used for a variety of occasions. Like I said, you can do it. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this on there. You can um, actually do this pot. Oh, that looks good. And you can, instead of a baby picture, you can put an ultrasound picture and use it for um, a centerpiece for a baby shower. So it's just different options that you can use. And we are done. Now, as far as what you want to plant inside, there's so many options. Um, you can even plant a little rose, little rose um, plant, rose bush in there. Um, just whatever fits. Uh, one thing that I do know is if you let your kids, hold on, let me go get something real quick. If you let your kids go with you to the home improvement store, you can just simply get a container of flowers that can be planted in a garden later. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. Here we go. So, and this fits right into our pot, like so, real cool. Here we go. So you can see that. So that's another option. So just again, make it your own. Well, that's our project for this week, guys. I hope you like it. If you do, please like us. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, 
please subscribe so that you can be one of the first to know when our new projects come up every week. Also, like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and once again, why don't you join us on our DIY community on MissPlanet.com. I love, love, love to plan projects and give you budgets and help you make your vision come true. So if there is a special occasion you have coming up and you'd like some assistance with planning, please upload your inspiration picture to our Facebook page or by all means, upload it to our MissPlanet.com website and we would be more than happy to help you plan it. Um, I think that's everything, guys, for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for taking time out and spending time with me. And I will see you next week. Take care. Bye.